Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Pocket Meeple Plays. This is Josh, and I am playing a brand new game that came out uh, just in the last week or so-ish at the time of this recording. Um, Meteor Fall. I think the official name is Meteor Fall Journeys. But this is a original, an original deck builder that was made for digital platforms. Uh, it is not an existing physical game, but it definitely plays like a familiar deck builder game. So if you ever played deck builders like Dominion, Ascension, uh, games of those ilk, uh, Meteor Fall will be very familiar to you. So this is a um, unique and a unique uh, kind of experience in that genre, and it also mention or. Gosh, bleh, words, so hard. I'm all not kind of under the weather, so I'm just like, mm, mm. Uh, it is a roguelike deck builder game in that you are trying to uh, explore various locations, ultimately trying to get to the boss Lich at the end and defeat him in order to win, but it's very hard to do that. Uh, the game ramps up considerably and yeah you kind of upgrade your uh abilities permanently as you play um you earn rewards for even if you die uh that can then be used to unlock more powerful cards the next run you go through it's really cool i like it a lot and it's got a really cute presentation that if you can't tell from the the pictures here uh look, look at that it is very like adventure time-esque uh cartoon network looking art style um but yeah Good credits. I like good credits. Let's jump into Meteor Fall. We're going to start. I've only played a little bit. Uh, here are the four characters you can play as. Uh, you've got Bruno, the uh, wonderful lavish beard and pink tights. He's a warrior, essentially, uh, in terms of the type of cards in his deck. He's good at just smashing the crap out of things. Greybeard is a wizard. Um, he uses kind of a unique mechanic around spells that have charges and stuff. Uh, Mischief is a rogue, um, is able to kind of steal treasure by killing enemies um, with certain cards. And then Rose is like a healer slash spellcaster. Haven't played Rose at all. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play with Bruno because he's the one I'm, I've been playing the most of. So, in those tights. Like, who can resist those tights? Really, come on. So, you get the little setup for Meteor Fall that there's a little... Oh, oh I didn't mean to click it. Sorry. Essentially, there's a cute little poem, but there's a lich and there's a meteor that's about to fall. I wonder where they got that name from. And you're trying to stop it. So you have to successfully get through three locations. Uh, you get two random ones every time, or at each fork in the road, essentially. Uh, so you have to get through three locations and then take on the lich after that. At the end of each location, there is a boss that you have to fight that's pretty tough. So right now I have my choice of the crypt or the cave, and the game uses a really cute kind of like, I want to say tender-esque uh, swipe left, swipe right to do stuff, which is kind of fun. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go to the crypt. That sounds fun. So whenever you go to a location, there's a deck of cards that you're trying to work your way through. There's monsters, there's random events, like maybe you have a choice of a blacksmith or going to the temple going uh looking for treasure uh you'll get tempted with things like there's this mysterious pool but do you want to go in it i don't know uh so on so on and so forth so uh what will happen is that anytime you are encountering something you'll swipe left or right and then you'll have an option so if i swipe right at the top it says fight this monster if i swipe left i can hide and rest and recover two health instead so my health will persist from fight to fight so sometimes after I got beat up a little bit, I don't want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and swipe right to fight this guy. So now I'm going through my personal deck of cards in order to fight this monster. You notice that the little timer down there, that means uh, that's how many actions essentially I get before my turn ends and the monster takes his turn. And the monster has his own deck of cards that he does the same thing with. The card itself, uh, the only downside that I kind of have to this game is that uh, the card itself is an attack card but it doesn't tell you how much damage it does until you actually kind of like you drag it to the right without letting go anyway if you let go it'll commit uh so it, this says it deals two damage the number three on the top is the cost so uh you can see on my character card i have health that's pretty self-explanatory if i ever go to zero health i die and then stamina every card costs stamina so if you don't have enough stamina you can't play cards 
if you swipe a card to the left, you discard it and you get four stamina back, which is pretty sweet. So it's a balancing act of playing cards, uh, but you don't want to run out of stamina. And like a deck builder, you kind of want to build your deck efficiently and know like, okay, I'm going to discard this weaker card because I know I have a really strong card in my deck that should be coming up soon, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and we're going to attack that guy. Uh, so now I have an attack two. So level two cards, an upgraded version. So it does three damage. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit him with it. And then we're going to go ahead and discard that block card because I don't think we're going to need it to get uh, some stamina back. So now it's the monster's turn. So he hits me back. He also has to discard for stamina. So he, he the monsters follow the same rules that I do. It's fair. Pretty fair. Uh, so sword basically is a ongoing ability that if I play it, uh, if I, whenever I deal damage, increase it by one. This monster only got one hit point left, so I'm not worried about it. I'm basically just trying to get an attack. So I can kill it. Bada boom. Done. Piece of cake. If you notice on the top there, I gained XP. You level up during this game, which is kind of awesome. And one of the parts of this game that I really, really enjoy. So whenever you level up, well, you know, I'll save that for when I get there. So your stamina recovers after a fight, but your health does not. So I have to go into this fight now at 7 out of 10. I could hide, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and fight it because if I beat him, I will level up. And when you level up, you get all of your health back, which is really awesome. So I definitely want to beat this robot, this necromancer. Uh, yeah, so he's dead by doing that. Piece of cake. Super easy. I get coins also every time I kill a monster, so you'll be able to buy new cards uh, whenever you visit shops. But let's do this uh, in order. So level up. I leveled up to level two. So I get a card to add to my deck. I can either add another sword card, which I already have and I don't really care for. Mighty Swing. Deal six damage in your turn pretty good uh, from my experience. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. And now that card is in my deck. Um, ooh, so I have an event. A shrill laugh cuts through the air as you approach a rickety cart. On board, a cackling old man is hawking his collections of potions. One of them catches your eye. So what are my choices? Buy the potion for three coins. I can use it to gain two time. Just right on use. Or back away slowly and hurry on your journey. Uh, I only have four coins right now, so I can't afford it, and it's just a one-time card that gets added to my deck. If I use it, then it's gone. I'm kind of tempted to take it because I can afford it, but uh, money is also kind of hard to come by in the early going. Like Later on, as the monsters get harder, I'll start racking up money a lot faster, but in this early game, it's pretty rare, but you know what? I'm going to take it. Might have been a mistake. We'll see. All right. So now I've got a scavenger. I'll go ahead and fight him. So we'll attack. We will attack. And then I will rest and get stamina. You will, uh, as you level up, you actually will get more time so you can do more actions before having to skip your, you know, pass your turn essentially. Um, it's, it's pretty slow. I think you get maybe like a time every few levels, so you, it doesn't, it's not like you get one timer every level. Uh, oh, he used armor, so that adds uh, a little block thing to him. So, uh, plate armor, he recovers one less stamina when skipping action, but he reduces damage taken by one. For, so I have to do a little extra damage here, but he's already almost dead. So I should have him, in fact, when I do this, that'll kill him. Boom, easy. All right. Ah, okay. Devil's bargain. While dressed in sinister-looking demon emerges for you in a flash, you offer to upgrade your abilities in exchange for a part of your soul. So, I can accept his offer. I can upgrade my block and lose three max HP or decline it. I'm going to decline it because block is okay. I, it's a good card, but it's not a great card. Um, higher levels of block are a lot better, but at this point, like, I don't... I can't sacrifice my HP. I really need it, so uh, we're gonna pass on that. And we'll fight this filthy gobloid because I'm pretty sure I can beat it, and I will level up if I do. So, all right. So block. Um, so the downside is that whenever it's the first card of your draw at the beginning of a, an encounter, there's no reason to discard for stamina because you are full. So I may as well play this. So the next three damage I receive is blocked. Pretty nice. Uh, so I'll attack, and you know what? 
I'll go ahead and attack. So my stamina is zero. That means the next on my turn, I have to discard the next card I, I do. But that's fine. I wanted that attack too. Um, so I think I'm going to finish him off here. So let's do... Oh, that's too bad. So we'll do that. Oh, boy. Um, oh, man. Yeah, that ended up not working out super great. Actually, that was very poor. Oh, no. Okay. I've got him now, though. All right, there's my Mighty Swing. I was hoping I was going to draw Mighty Swing earlier, but I did not. It's okay. I leveled up, so everything's fine. Uh, so I need to choose now. Do I increase my max health by 5 or stamina by 1? Uh, max health is always great, but stamina means that you can play more cards before having to discard a card, which is pretty great. So I'm actually going to go with the max stamina 1. All right. Uh, so now I have a choice. Um, I didn't get a monster. I got a choose one event. I need to choose whether I go searching for treasure or upgrade cards at the blacksmith. Uh, basically, the way that works is if you go to the blacksmith, you can take existing cards and upgrade them to the next higher level, but it costs money. And I do not have enough money because I bought that potion earlier, so I'm going to go looking for treasures. Treasure is pretty cool. Uh, you basically get a treasure chest and you just start getting cards out of it. Uh, however, there's a bit of a push your luck element to it because, so, if you can just keep taking cards, but you, you're just getting random cards, and they may not be cards that are actually useful, so you're diluting your deck with a bunch of cards that are actually not that good. So, for example, dodge right off the bat is kind of, kind of terrible. Well, it's not terrible, but it's not great, but I'm going to take it and hope that, there we go. Mmm! Yes! Holy Strike. Holy Strike is very good. Uh, I will definitely take that. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I feel like I'm not sure if it's more than two or if it's just random, the number that you can get. I'm, I haven't quite figured out treasure chests yet. Um, but yeah, there'll be opportunities to call your deck later. There'll be places you can visit that can remove cards. So that worked out that I took the dodge to get the Holy Strike, and then I'll just get rid of the dodge later. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so... Oh, now you can see down there, I have four timer, so now I can play more cards. Boom, boom, and perfect. I will mighty swing, knock him down to one HP. So now I just gotta hit him one more time, fight's over. Oop! Ouch, that really hurt. That sucked. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, come on. There we go. I like just in case I don't get an attack card, I just want to block something. Whew. That hurt. Rest or shop. Oh, see, this is bad because my health is pretty low. Um, so I rest and fully recover my HP or buy cards and typically around 10 coins to buy cards from what I remember anyway. So I can afford new cards, but I feel like I should probably rest. Um... Nah, screw it. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Uh, okay. Oh, these all cost six, but they're not that great. Oh. So, increased damage dealt by two. Cancel when you discard a card. Um, so, it basically lasts until I discard a card. Deal two damage for each card played and gain two block for each card skipped. So, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I'll take Battle Stance. That is a pretty neato card. And you can buy more than one if you have the money, but I do not. So so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hide and flee from that monster to recover some health. So, okay. Uh, I don't have enough money for the Blacksmith still, so let's do Treasure again. All right. Oh, come on. I just bought a Battle Stance. So I'm going to pass... You do four more damage with any ability. Opponent suffers one bleed. Okay, no, I didn't really want either of those, to be honest. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and fight this monster. I'm a little low on health, but I should be okay. There we go. That is perfect. Puts me on a little even playing field here. Though this is going to be cutting it. Oh, jeez. This is bad. Okay, perfect. So Holy Strike does four damage, heals myself too. So then I will get some stamina back. I will get a little bit more stamina back. 
and then attack. Oh boy, so I may die here. We'll see. Okay, perfect. He did not have enough to get me, so now I will finish him off. Whoo! Oh, jeez, I'm still a little short. Uh, yes. Oh, crap, that sucks. Okay. So, temple, uh, that's where you go to remove cards from your deck. I would really like to go visit the temple, but I need to rest. Otherwise, I'm about to die. Okay. Perfect. So, one of the things that's kind of interesting is that you notice how I skipped a monster earlier. That that still, like, progresses through the location. So, you could just keep skipping monsters. The downside is that the monsters continue to get harder, and you're not gaining any XP or money. So, you're kind of being... You're stuck plateauing. So, you rarely want to skip monsters because of that. You actually want to try to fight as often as possible. And just... The goal is to not take damage or take as little damage as you can uh, whenever you fight. So, that way you can just keep going... Um, so because I had to rest earlier, I, I've done it once so far, I'm okay. If I have to keep hiding and resting, then that's going to really come back to bite me in the butt. But we sh we will see how things go. So let's, uh, alright, so I'm not going to worry about dodge, and then we'll attack one more time. Okay. Uh, reckless strike sucks, that hurts a lot. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well... Oh boy, that puts me down to two stamina. I really hope, I really want to get my uh, mighty blow, so I'm going to take the chance and get. Ah, there we go. Mighty swing. Got it. Mm, mm, mm. Mighty swing. Mighty swing. Mighty swing. All right. Leveled up. Perfect. Ah, man, I keep getting duplicate cards here, so. I, feel like, mm, I only have the one ability that does four damage, and that's Mighty Swings. So I have one of those in my deck. So Mace isn't that great. I mean, maybe later it will be, but at the moment, having two Battle Stance is also not that great. Uh, so I'm not super thrilled. Um, but now we're going to go shopping. Please give me something good. Uh, really? I'm not super happy with either of these. I'll just buy a stamina potion. It's really interesting because I have stamina potion, and I thought I had another potion in my deck, but I guess I don't. Hmm. So, one more encounter remaining before the boss. Alright, let's do this. Whew. Um. Yep, we'll attack. We'll attack. We will not use the rusty helm, and then we'll attack again. Alright, let's see what he does here. Ugh, okay, he didn't poison me. That's good. Uh, yes, I will definitely holy strike. I will discard that, and I will play that. Um, yeah, perfect, okay. That way I will block some hits. Ah, oh, he healed, of course. I block some hits here. Uh, that way I can not take damage, hopefully kill him this round. But the, uh, the fact that uh, he took away one of my timers really hurts. Um, there we go. That's what I wanted. Mighty Swing! Love that card. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, here we go. So you do seek the icy chill of death. Very well, your grave awaits. That's how I imagine him. I mean, just look at him. All right, battle stance to start off. So, perfect. Uh, um, I don't know if they stack. But sure. Uh, no, I don't want to burn my stamina potion. And okay. Uh, so we'll start seeing some more interesting cards. They they cycle really fast, so you don't really... It's hard to tell what they do. So you can always recap and see exactly what the cards did. So he got to choose a spell and restore charges on it, but he didn't have any. So you can see which direction they swiped, so you know if they discarded it for stamina or not. Um, Reap was deal 3. 
Uh, and plus two more if I was frozen, so I have to be careful of that. If I get frozen, that reap card's gonna really hurt. And he's jacking me up. I have to be careful here. Um, so let's do that. Yes, let's do that. Oh, that's a bummer. And... Uh, screw it. I need the stamina. Two. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I just gotta hope for a mighty swing here pretty soon. So that's, ah, oh, jeez, this is where I'm torn. Because if I play this, I'm down to two stamina, which means that I won't mighty swing if I have it next. Ah. Uh, nope, perfect. This is not looking good, though. I may not survive this turn. Nope. He got me. That was a hard fight. I've not encountered that that uh, that boss before. That was brutal. All right. So at the end of your run, when you die, you can see enemies that you defeated, bosses you defeated. You see your your deck. You know what it looks like at the end. Um, all that gets added to a total, which convert into gems, which you saw there. Now I have 88 gems. With 100 gems, you can then permanently unlock new abilities for your different heroes. So, like, if I go to Bruno, I have three unlockable cards that I can buy. They're each 100 apiece. Veteran Strike deals six damage. It's minus two for each basic attack card played. Um, I think that's just, like, a... I'm not sure how that one works, but... Well, it's just a, it's a card... Um, this one is gain one, uh, one timer, then gain one stamina, and the next time you deal damage, double it, which is really cool. Like, that with a, a mighty swing is, that's a badass combo. Uh, and this one's also very cool. Uh, deal three damage, and then if this attack kills your opponent, you get to upgrade one of your basic attack cards. That is amazing. But, of course, timing it so that way you get boast out when your opponent's almost dead. You know, you really want to take advantage of the temple and call out your deck so you want a really lean efficient deck to be able to take advantage of both which is totally doable but the run i was going at like i wasn't really being that careful about the cards that were in my deck so i ended up with some kind of filler and fluff that ended up not really helping me a whole lot but sometimes that happens i mean it's a roguelike that's the whole point of roguelike games is that some runs are way better than others, and sometimes you're just like, like all my uh, card choices for leveling up were just kept getting duplicates, and it was not super helpful. Uh, the previous run that I played before I recorded, just to make sure everything was running right, uh, was amazing. I kept getting super good cards, so it is what it is. Anyway, but that's that. That's Meteor Fall. Uh, I, gosh, I really love this game. Uh, it's super fun to play. It's fast. The art is gorgeous and yeah like there's no like sleazy in-app purchases or anything like that like it's just a cool deck builder roguelike dungeon crawly game you know uh i just i'm in love with it personally i think it's awesome so i hope you all enjoy and maybe go check out meteor fall maybe i don't know you don't have to but it's pretty cool all right thank you